All right, guys, I will be completely honest with you. I had literally no idea I would end up saying this, but the coin in Sage's Absolute has been officially confirmed to be on its way to Asphalt 9 Legends. And today I will explain why and I will show the image that changed everything. So with nothing else to add, let's dive into today's topic. So first of all, let's introduce the context to the image I'm about to show you all guys so you can understand why this is the final proof confirming the absolute arrival sooner than you may think. Maybe some of you know that the Koenigsegg absolute arrived for the first time at the Asphalt Saga on Asphalt 8, where it is basically the king of the wall game as well as the highest ranked card. Well, Asphalt 8 is currently under Game Loft Kharkiv's development and definitely not a lot of you guys know this, but that's the same studio who is related to some of the Asphalt 9 China's aesthetic effects. So there is a direct relation between Asphalt 8, where the Jesco Absolute first arrived, and Asphalt 9 China. But there is one major difference between Asphalt 9 China and the global version of Asphalt 9 Legends. The Chinese version is a few updates behind the global one, but still there is a connection between both versions from time to time, as we could see with the animated decals. Basically, most of Asphalt 9 global version animated decals are the exact same ones that already existed on Asphalt 9 China before, so there is a relation between Asphalt 9 Legends and Wild Racing 9, aka Asphalt 9 China, when it comes to developing certain features. Same goes to the wild cards, by the way, it's just that on Asphalt 9 China, they are way more useful and better optimized overall. Well, that's basically all the context you needed uh, to understand what are you about to see, and here it is, this asset image recently appeared on Reddit, you have the link on the description, and well, not like I'm doubting of your site, but at a first look at this image, it's clear that what we are seeing right now is not the normal version of the Koenigsegg Jesco. It's not an edit, that image was found on the files of Wild Racing 9, proving that at some point of the future, the Koenigsegg Jesco Absolute is definitely coming to Asphalt 9 China. But if that ver version is several updates behind, how is this even possible? Well, you know, Asphalt 9 China recently introduced a new class for the very best cars of the entire game, where the Bugatti Bolit is alone at right now, so I, it would make sense that the Bolit Swedish counterpart, this is the Koenigsegg Jesko Absolute, would be placed slightly over it on this new air class, since the Absolute is expected to go over 500 km per hour, which it haven't been tested yet in real life, but being coin is such a consistent brand when it comes to breaking world records, I bet it's quite probable that the absolute top speed will be astonishing in real life, to say at least. Just because of the relations between of the different studios I explained at the very beginning of this video, I can assure you guys that the Jesco Absolute is already heading to Asphalt 9 Legends. Being an iconic car as it is, nowadays in real life, and being present on Asphalt 8 and soon on Asphalt 9 China as well, it's pretty obvious that its presence on Asphalt 9 Global is a matter of months from now on. Also, the timings don't make sense, because we got the Bugatti Bolitz Drive Syndicate last year, in winter, and I will put my hand on the fire that the Absolute will very probably arrive on this year Driver Syndicate 8. But why through Driver Syndicate and not a, you know, a special event like the Venom F5? Well, definitely the Koenigsegg Jesco Absolute seems to be the kind of car where Gamelot invested a lot of time adjusting its performance to make it an absolute king without completely breaking the wall game meta. And I don't know, but it doesn't give the vibe of a car that you could actually get spending an obscene amount of tokens as I did with the Hennessy Venom F5, for example, so that's why I think it will arrive through a driver syndicate. So they can actually make back the money they lost adjusting to the millimeter this coin is Jesco absolute performance. And honestly, guys, I can't really blame Gamelot for this, though, because at the end, it's, you, you know, just a business. If I had to bet on how its performance will be, it's obvious that it will be a top speed oriented car, but let's, let's get real, I'm terrible giving stats to a car we don't even know how it will be once it arrives to the game, so I will just play safe and say that definitely it will be a top speed oriented car, and I hope with great drifting and floaty capabilities. Only that would make sense and will make it worth of the highest rank of Asphalt 9, but we all know that what happened with Bolit, so it's kind of overrank. So we can only wait to confirm how insane the Absolute will be, since we already got the proof that the car itself is heading towards the global version of Asphalt 9 Legends. 
But hey, the only thing guaranteed, thanks to the image we could see, is that the coin is Jesco Absolute is finally arriving to Asphalt 9, and from there everything is just theory, which could be more or less adjusted to the final reality of the game. In an utopic scenario, who knows, maybe the Absolute could arrive as the November part of a special event, or maybe a, a special event with crazy requirements, but that's, you know, an utopia, so it will probably arrive, and I'm 90% sure at a drive syndicate. You know, it is what it is. It's game loft at the very end of the day. But now it's your turn. What do you think about the Coin Jesco Absolute? When and more importantly, how do you think it will arrive to Asphalt 9 in the global version, I mean? Let me know in the comment section, make sure to drop your like and I will see you really really soon as usual with much more Asphalt content. Goodbye guys, take care and see you really really soon. My body, body, my body, body.